Okay, so we're gonna go take a look at this Lily unit. It is a uh, four bedroom unit. There is an option to put a fifth bedroom in the basement if you are looking for a fifth bedroom, along with the full bath in the basement too. So you can make a little nice little suite uh, down there and have yourself three suites uh, because there is a, a unit upstairs that comes with its own ensuite in addition to the owner's unit all right sidewalks you know you guys know i love sidewalks we have sidewalks galore throughout this area and the sidewalks are actually wider as you get closer to the amenities so we have a true two-car garage which you know it's a true two-car garage when you have that little divider in between so you know you can get two cars in that space we are going to take a look at that garage as we go through the unit my name is Abraham Walker, and I uh, have run a channel where to live in Northern Virginia. So if you're ready to start the home buying process or start the home selling process, any real estate questions that you may have, there's a link below in the description to start the perfect home questionnaire. Fill out that form, and we will schedule a time to meet via Zoom to answer any and all of your questions about the home buying process. That's how we make our money and how we get, we continue to be motivated to make these videos on your behalf. So we have a nice welcoming foyer area, right? Which this is a, this is a, a, a duplex. So it's not a townhouse because there's only one shared wall. So you're gonna get more square footage than you would in a traditional townhouse. Even if it was a two car garage townhouse, there's just more square footage and you could feel it in the width of this property. So as soon as we walk in, working our way from left to right, we have a room that could be used as an office, a study. And then there's a door right here, which is the coat closet. And then further through, right, where you've seen all that light is going to be your combination living room, dining room, and a even kitchen area. We have the stairs up to the bedroom level, and then we have stairs underneath those stairs to the basement level. We have your powder room right here, and we have this little nook right here where you could put places for shoes if that's what you wanted. There is also, um, you're gonna see there's room for shoes or like a little, um, what do you call it? My mind is blanking. What do you call it? What do people like these days? A mud room, excellent. Yes, a mud room right off of the garage. So you have a, a lot of places to, to, to kind of step into the property and, and relax and then move throughout your space. One thing I notice here and my clients, a client just closed on one of these units is that the ceiling height is just welcoming uh, I believe we're at nine feet uh, ceilings right here. If not 10 feet, we'll find out. But yeah, so as soon as you walk through, we have this. They have it situated as an office. You have an option to enclose this wall altogether and make it a much more of a private uh, space if necessary, All right? But this property is done by Dries Home. I feel like Dries does a great they, they deliver a great product in a sense that I feel like the lines are clean. I, I really like the the workmanship or craftsmanship that they they offer as well. So these are those stairs that we'll get to going to the bedroom level very shortly. All right? I know you notice on this channel we like to open all doors when we're going through these models. So that's the coat coat closet and then we have the combination living room dining room and your kitchen
This layout provides you with a, a lot of opportunities to switch up the design. You could put your TV on this wall. You could do like this model has it and put your TV on that wall. You could bring your couch out to where this carpet is or this runner is, right? So you do have a lot of options with this layout. And you have a gorgeous space for your dining room. And you have a well-appointed kitchen, which has an option for a double oven and a microwave above the cooktop. In my preference, my personal preference, I like a vented hood. I like the hood. You know that about me already. The hood gives you an opportunity to get all of those smells out of the property. I feel like the microwave, the combination microwave hood system it's a cool idea. I just haven't seen one that really executes at a high level like a dedicated hood. Yep. And so like even with this model here, this it doesn't vent out. You got to get it to vent out. You'll thank me later. Make sure you choose that option when you're building your property or Use our services and we'll make sure you don't forget. We'll make sure you don't, don't forget. Look at that, look at that, how that is nicely shaped up. All right. Another thing I like about this model is the number of cabinets. You have so many cabinets, cabinets everywhere. So storage is not gonna be your issue. And I know what you're thinking, Abraham, with all these cabinets, do they even give us a pantry? Yes, you also have a pantry in this model here. All right? So we have a gorgeous space for your dining room. What I like about the placement of your dining room right here, off to the back of the property, is that it gets access to these windows here. So you could have your guest entertaining for a dinner party or um, a serious dinner right here. And you have a great view outdoors, right? So you have a great outdoor view. The way Dries has placed all of their duplexes in this development is that they all have, they all back up to the woods. So you'll be able to have a nice treed, Treat view of the space. All right, let's give ourselves a nice little panning shot here so you can take it all in from the different angles. Let's go to this corner here as well. Let's take it all in. All right, let's go take a look at outside, see what some, what some, some of the options are that you can have. All right, so as you can see, you can put yourself a nice little outdoor flyer place right here. And fall is just amazing in Virginia, right? Am I right or am I right? Oh man, I just enjoy doing these videos at this time of the year. The trees are giving us a little color. All right, back to the property here. So this is your outdoor entertainment space off of the kitchen. Big enough to put, let's get inside. It's big enough to put some outdoor furniture. It's big enough to set up a couple of seating areas. All right, so now through that door there is how we get to the garage. So you'll see that we have our office set up here. We have our double oven. If necessary, you can get the option to have that bottom drawer be a warming drawer. There we go, we got that pantry I told you about. And we have your little space for potential mud room off of the, off of the garage. All right, so now let's go take a look at that true two-car garage. garage door open. Thank you. All right, like I mentioned, true two-car garage, 
plenty of space. You could almost get a Hummer in here, most likely. So this is good news, good news. And because of the depth of this garage, you should have enough space to put your, depending on the length of your vehicle, to put your trash cans, store them in the garage as well. So nice size garage. Nice ceiling height too. So another thing you could do in this garage here, if you're looking for ideas, you can get those storage containers that go above the garage or that you hang from the wall. So then you can increase the storage capacity of, of this garage. So maybe put some cabinets or something like that along the back wall and then have your upper level storage uh, as well because you do have two rooms downstairs that you could use for storage with the utility room but I don't think you can get as much as many items in those areas as you would like so having more storage is never a bad thing all right now let's go up to the bedroom level after we check out this powder room by the front door Be sure to let me know what what room you like the most, which room you believe had the best design feature, or if you see any design features that you would like to add to your current property, right? Like maybe you're buying a resale in the city or closer to the city, and you, you watch these videos to get inspiration. I know, I know a lot of people who do that, and that's fine, that's fine, that's fine. All right, so now we're about to go head up the stairs to the bedroom level. And as you can see, there's a nice little opening there to get us upstairs. All right, now we're upstairs bedroom level landing working our way from left to right we have bedroom number guest bedroom number one guest bedroom number two to the left three then we have the guest bathroom and we have the laundry room which has the option to be connected to the owner's closet and then we have the owner's bedroom one thing I want to po point out here is that your stairwell does have a window, so you're going to get a lot of natural light. And like they've done in this model, you have a nice space right here to display a large, large format piece of artwork on that wall and also on that wall there if you so desire. All right, let's go take a look at these bedrooms. All right. All right, so this is bedroom number, guest bedroom number one. Guest bedroom number one has its own window off to the side. So this is a bedroom off, off to the side of the property and the other two bedrooms are gonna to be to the front of the property. It has I would say a two and a half door closet. So plenty of storage space to store your clothing here. One thing I liked about the closets is that there is an option to put a light in here in the closet. I recommend putting a light in the closet. I know it's gonna add a little bit to your, your overall budget. And I think you'll thank me later. All right, guest bedroom number two. Here. So guest bedroom number two has a window off to the front. So we're at the front left part of the property here. All right, plenty of space to put a queen size bed or a full size bed with a ton of furniture. And this is your view. Or oh, that won't be your view. This is the model. But we have another. We have another large closet here, and then we have guests. Bedroom number three, off to the right here. This guest bedroom comes with, in addition to you having two windows, right? You also 
you should view. You also have your own ensuite, right? So this is one of the rooms I mentioned at the beginning of the tour. You have your own bath off of this bedroom and you have a walk-in closet. All right. Let's get you a better view of that bath. So this bath, believe it or not, is it's going to be just a little bit smaller than the bathroom that services guest bedroom number one and and two. So this is the bath that services guest bedroom number one and two. Another feature I think that you'll want in this guest bathroom, an option you want to check into is adding two faucets. Right, so getting yourself two faucets, having a double vanity. You'll thank me later. Even if you don't plan on having a lot of people visiting here, the double vanity is a nice touch in the event that you have guests in each bedroom. Right. So we're not going to take a look at this closet. Well, this is a utility room. Well, let's take a look at it, but. Uh, I'll, I'll show you how it connects to the owner's bath or owner's closet as well. So your washer and dryer goes on that side. You can add some additional storage above here. And if you turn around, there's more opportunity for storage or what have you uh, really. I mean, it, the, this room is fairly large and you have this optional door to your closet. I recommend getting a door because otherwise you'd have to walk around and you know, you're building a new house. You might as well get all the, all the features, right? Anyway, if you don't have this door here, you'll notice that you now have a full wall where you could also add some additional storage. So we'll take a look at the owner's closet after we check out the owner's bedroom. This is it. King size bed, two large vanities or nightstands, and you still have space for another sizable dresser here. So you could fit a lot of furniture here without making the room feel tight. And we have these two little birds here. Hello, birds. Hello, Bert. All right, let's just get one more shot of this gorgeous space. Having a balcony off of your deck is a nice touch. Wake up in the morning, get yourself a nice little book. Go off, get yourself a rocking chair on the deck. For your balcony and just bring the morning in with some style. End your night that way too. Won't it be peaceful? Won't it? Won't it? Before we go out there, let's just take another view of this bedroom here. Now I'm a ceiling fan in the bedroom type of guy. I like fans. I don't know if you are too. They have the ceiling fan mount right there. And we have so essentially you have an elevated view from your living area. Same amount of square footage. Another feature I think that you'll want to have, I mentioned this on my Plute Home townhouse walkthrough, is to have yourself a nozzle, a water nozzle out here, so that you could rinse off your deck in the event that it gets nasty and icky. All right. All right. So let's go 
and to check out check out the bag. So we have this monster shower here. There are some options for you to add additional sprays, nozzles, but as you can see, you can fit a whole team, sports team in here. Look at the size of this thing. So the, this bathroom configuration comes with a vanity on this side here with plenty of counter space. And you have your second vanity on this side, pretty, plenty, plenty of counter space. You have your linen closet right next to the door to the bedroom here. Plenty of shelves, I mean drawers cabinets so I think that you're going to really really like to, you know starting your day off in this bath you have your toilet closet here plenty of space to put yourself a giant bidet if you don't bidet it's a, it's a game changing experience that's what I've heard I haven't gotten my bidet yet I'm still bidoing but don't. All right, so now that we're in the walk-in closet and this this closet is the same size as, I would say three closets and some other spaces. Um, there's just so much space in here. So much opportunity to store a lot of clothing, shoes, accessories. Uh, I mean, I know people who are using this space as an office. That's how big this room is is it's big enough to be an office and that that is that is the bedroom level so now let's go check out the the basement level and end our tour if you're enjoying this tour so far let me know which room you like the most i know there was only the the owner's bedroom that was designed or modeled in here fully decorated so what's your favorite feature so far What's your favorite design so far? Let me know in the comment section. If you like these videos, like, like the video itself, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Okay, so now we're downstairs, main level. We're gonna go to the garage, I mean the basement. The basement door is right before you enter into the combination living room, kitchen, dining room. ready to start your real estate journey click the link in the description to the perfect home questionnaire once you fill out that form we'll schedule a time to meet via zoom to answer any and all of your questions all right so starting from left to right we have some space there i mentioned already about using the storage to your left then we have this room over here which is going to be our utility room we have our large basement living space with it looks like eight and a half foot ceilings then we have a room that's going to be off to the back of this this space that's that's going to be um perfect for a fourth bed uh, fifth bedroom if you wanted it and we have some we also have a bath um right right here on this side as well and we have some more space here i forgot what this space is for we will go explore it on our trip all right so now we are in that storage space you have your utility room or your um your electrical panel here and you could finish this off i, I wouldn't recommend it though i would recommend just keeping this as some storage space maybe organize it better um but just you need some storage space in such a large property and we have our utility room, two hot water heaters, and our HVAC system tucked nicely on this back wall here. 
Great job, Drees, because then that saves you all of this living space in, in your basement area. All right? So there's a number of things you could do with this space. I would, personally, I would probably divide it into three different living spaces. Um, so use paint to break up the space. So maybe paint the, the wall in this middle space. I would paint the ceiling as well to give it like its own definition. So you have that sitting space over there. You have what they have as additional city space in the middle here and then do something different by this window, All right? All right, so we have outdoors. This is the covering uh, above the, the main living area deck portion, right? And then you have your backyard. Big enough to get a real lawnmower, not big enough to do much sweating while you're cutting, cutting the grass. Now let's go take a look at that room that could be your fifth bedroom. If you're looking for a fifth bedroom, here we go, bam. Fifth bedroom, potential, you got yourself an egress window. You have enough space to put, a, put yourself a, a closet in here and it'll be a sizable room for maybe a full size bed, smaller, nightstands adequately ad adequate size and your guests whoever's down here will have access to their own bath full bath just two piece shower vanity that's it all right so we have this linen closet right over here we have one more door before we say goodbye. Okay, so there's a storage underneath the stairs. All right, makes sense. Excellent, excellent. So what do y'all think? What did you think about this unit? I like the layout. I like the, personally, I'm not a, I'm not a fan or I'm not as much of a fan of single family houses if you can get the amount of space that you desire in one of these duplexes, right? Townhouses could be a smidge too small if you're trying to get a dedicated office and four bedrooms, right? So for the bang for your buck, duplexes is where it's at. You let me know in the comment section. I'm looking forward to hearing your thoughts. Also, if there is a development that you want me to tour that I haven't added to the, ch to the channel, let me know as well. And I will see you on the next video. Peace.